spirit and in truth to the best of their ability. But where are the men that are coming out with this new song? The proper breakdowns in the doctrine of the Bible. Your other people are liars. Y'all are found out liars. That's why a lot of you, when y'all did, when y'all do come up here, y'all 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 are found out liars, and y'all are cut by the scriptures, and y'all don't even come up with y'all's Bible. When y'all do, y'all can't even keep that Bible open for you. Not even, not even half the time. Not even the majority of the time, y'all don't open the Bible. And one, one more quick thing, you know, we're speaking on the day of the Lord, and it, it was something that came to my mind last night. You know, me and this brother right here, we. We have confidence, man, that we're going to make it, you know, Lord willing, all right? Lord willing, but we don't know. We do not. The point is, it's true. Out of the scriptures, we know about Shimei on Shai. Say we do die, though. The most high is still looking at this place of how much destruction it's going to get because while we were out here, we were telling you the truth, you know? And the most high, he sees that truth has been spread out across the natural. But y'all people didn't hearken. So, like brother said last night, man, y'all got a hard, hard destruction coming upon y'all. And y'all don't even know it. Uh, Ezekiel 12 and verse 25. For I am the Lord. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days. O rebellious house, I will say the word and I will perform it, say the Lord power. Right. And like, what if it what if it say Isaiah? One of the ways he speaks is through visiting the world. Yeah, yeah. Certain disasters, certain uh, certain events that pop off, wars, rumors of wars. That's all Yahweh Shai, man. That's all him. That's all him working. Like I was telling his brother a while ago, what happened in Texas a few days ago? Those 12 tornadoes that touched down and wiped out a whole little city, uh, not a city, but a whole good area of land. 12 tornadoes. That's not just coincidence. And they were saying that these uh, certain low category tornadoes were having the effects of like a F3 and F4 tornadoes. That just proves, because like I said in Nahum, uh, Nahum, that the Lord has his way in the whirlwind. He controls it. And that's him visiting. This is Nahum chapter 1, verse 2. God is jealous, and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges. And is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserves wrath for his enemies. Right, and we just told you you're, the enemies are the ones who go according to their own imagination. That's why he's furious. And walk uh, contrary to the law. All right, if you're a, if you're a heathen, you're going to be destroyed. There's no, it's whatever. But you're, you, 230, you Negro Latinos, you know, you walked away from that which was good to you. The law. Now you, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord's re, uh, is going to revenge to his enemies because you're an enemy in the Lord's face along with the heathen. Uh, verse 3, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. See, that's why the, the, y'all, in y'all two-thirds, y'all's minds, y'all, it seemed like well, the Lord is he's prolonging the days, right? The prophets, the prophets ain't going to come true. Well, that's because of the most size, he's slow to anger. But y'all take that as, as a uh, as a uh, as a light thing, a weak thing, where you can get away with it. It's just like a child. When the child keeps getting uh acting up, the parent it just sits back. It's like, all right, keeps having patience. But stop, stop doing that. Stop, stop, behave, behave, behave. Right, and the child think, okay, well, I can do it again and get away with it. Then what happens next? After that, that patience wears down. What happens next? Then that father or mother gives that child a beat down. Out of nowhere, unexpectedly, right? But that's how Yahweh Shai is gonna do. He's gonna come unexpectedly, and he's gonna lay down these these uh, uh, these strokes on you, man, across y'all's back. And it's not gonna be by a leather belt. It's not gonna be by a paddle. It's gonna be by death. Death by pain, man. Death, death is in the Most High's hand, and he's using it to afflict and destroy you, people. And, and, and it's the so-called white man. Not only him, but also you got these diseases created, viruses, right? Whether it be natural or uh, uh, genetically mod modified, you know? Engineered by the Esau, the Edomites. You know what I'm saying? So he uses all these different forms of uh, 
of, 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 the, of, of death to destroy you. You got something? Yeah. Oh, boy, uh, it says, uh, Acts 17 and 30. And at times of this ignorance, the Most High weak that. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right, and then how is he doing that? By sending us men, the, the elect, with the Lord willing, with the elect, to come out here and tell you that message. You need to repent and get right. Because if not, you're going to be destroyed. Because we know that our salvation is nearer than we ever believed. But, I, uh, it, but to that point, it said that he's winking at it right now, as the brother was saying. You know, right now he's just, he's, he's, or he's, he's, he's uh, standing back, thinking, you know, storing up that wrath. Yeah, he, he, he winks at you like, all right, you, 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 did, you did it in my face, okay? And he, he, just, he just winks at you, meaning that yeah, he's not going to forget you did that. And, and at this time, and the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, and not commanded all men everywhere to repent, because he had appointed a day in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained. By that man who he had ordained, which was ultimately Yahweh Shai's son. But now that he has ordained certain men to come out here and cast that judgment too. Uh, yeah. Let me get this. Nahum 2, uh, 1 and 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Right. And uh, to give an example, you ever notice an example about the whirlwind and a storm? When you see a storm or a whirlwind happening, isn't that, I mean, they're fast, you know, the rain comes down quick, the storm is happening quick. The whirlwind, it's, it's going at like 200 miles per hour, apparently, in a, in, a, in a circular motion. But you ever notice whenever you watch a tornado move, it's not going up and down like crazy. It's taking its time, it's taking its toll, getting wherever it wants to go. And that's, and like I just said, Yahweh Shai is slow to anger. But he's gonna, he's, but he's gonna get that judgment. He's gonna execute that that whooping on you. But the Most High, or the, the Scripture said, that he will not at all acquit the wicked. And it even says in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 6 that the Most High hates all sinners, and that he was, and he, um, and that he should not spare them. That they're all gonna die, whether from the whether from the youngest to the oldest, every man who's committed a sin or a woman. Whatever, girl, you're gonna die, and whatever, and whatever way the form of the sword comes, you're gonna be, you're gonna have to take that that cup. Whether it be put through a, uh, what you see is a extremely wicked way, whatever. Most side, he's the one who's gonna put that judgment on you because you wanted to think, I got away, like the brother just made, gave an example. Oh, I got away, but because he didn't put that whooping on you at the minute, all right, you're gonna get a worse judgment. Yeah, you may not even get it in your uh, prior life. Because there is a such thing called reincarnation, reincarnation in the Bible. So you may not get it in that in your prior <laughs> life, but you're gonna come back. Because when you die, you go to the spirit world, you can't get receive your judgment, and it's played out on earth. So you're gonna catch it on the on your next uh your next journey on this earth. Alright? You don't know. The scriptures say that they don't got no remembrance of wit of the of the former times, the past times. So we come back as, as a newborn baby with no, no recollection of what we, we what we were, what, what was going on in the past. All right. Uh, let me get this. This is a second Ezra chapter seven, verse nineteen. And he said unto me, There is no judge above God, and none that hath understanding above the highest. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God that is set before them. And that's why both sides coming back because. You despite, you, like I said in uh, Jeremiah, you forsook the Most High and you forsook his ways. You wanted to go upon your own understanding and think that you had it all. Like I said, well, it even says that chapter 9 to Andrews and, and a little bit before that. Because when you had yet liberty, you wanted to take it upon yourself to go upon and indulge upon your flesh. And the scriptures say to not do that. It said that when they had yet liberty, they, they despised the law of the Most High and went upon their own ways. Therefore, the Most High treasured up wrath for, uh, for that day for them. You've got a rude awakening. Uh, second Andrew 7 and 21. For God had given straight commandment to such as came. What they should do 
to live, even as they came, what they should observe to avoid punishment. I didn't say anything about that. I didn't say much to say. Because the most high, he gave you a strict commandment, meaning if you do this and it's wrong, you're going to die. If you do this and it's right, you shall live. It was just, it wasn't it wasn't like you had a like like we were reading a habit book earlier earlier. It's not made plain. The most high told you plain in your face, don't sin or you're gonna die. Don't corrupt the earth, don't be wicked, and you won't die. But you people y'all went off in your own ways. Y'all forsook the most high, y'all transgressed the law, the commandments. Uh this is us uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 15, uh verse 17. Before man is life and death, and whether he like it, and whether he, and whether him like it shall be given him. So whether you like it or not, your hell man's gonna appoint it to die. You're gonna die. You can't live forever. Now, you, 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 you can die. How do you want to die exactly? How do you want to die? Because the scripture says a horrible thing falls in the hands of the living power. Now, if, if you read that chapter in Hebrews 10, it tells you if you go according to the law, if you go according, if you go against the law, right, then it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Now it all depends how you want to die, okay? For the wisdom of the Lord is great, and he is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things, and his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. He had commanded no man to do wickedly, neither had he given any man license to sin. You know what? The scriptures even tell you that the Most High cannot be tempted by evil, nor did he say evil will find you. That's, that's not the Most High, that's you. Yep. You get that from James. When you, when you go up and sin, that's because you wanted to do it. You know? And like I said, the Most High, he knows your heart. You know, because men, you know, we're just men, and y'all two thirds, y'all want to act. Like you, like you want, or like we always bring out the example. A lot of y'all just say y'all want to die in your sleep, or you want to die comfortably. Y'all ain't gonna die the way you want to die. Cause like that's the thing. A man may come up to you and be like, okay, yeah, you're gonna die a good death, uh, son. It's all right, you're doing good. Right? They, they'll tell you that. Oh, you're gonna die good old age. Yeah. Right. But, we're, uh, but what does a man know? He doesn't know that right before you got there, you could have just got done doing some abominable shit. That's why the most time, he is a judge of all. And he knows what you've done. He knows what you just did. You know, you could have been, uh, what is it? Uh, kissing, your hand, kissing your dad's ass, whatever. Uh, being a good grace for him. You could have just got a reward, man, before you could have been That's why the most time is going to judge you. Not a man. Though we store a judgment for y'all because we've got ourselves right. And we have the, we have the authority. You know, but back on the point, y'all people, yeah, the most time is going to see what you do. And the Most High, He's given a straight commandment on what you should and you shouldn't do. So if you want to, you want to live, good, you want to live corruptly, you want to do wickedly, you're gonna, you're gonna die a horrible death, death by pain. If you hearken to the law, maybe you'll live, Lord willing. This is Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse six. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him, for he knoweth not that which shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither hath he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Right, and like it was just commented a second ago, every death comes upon everybody whether you like it or not. It's inevitable, it's gonna happen. But, like the brother said, how do you want to die? How you, how you, how do you want your death to be? Yeah. You want it to be a good death or a horrible death? That, that's plain. Good death or horrible death? Because when they, when we go back into the kingdom, we're gonna live up to our, our full uh, our life expectancy, which is approximately a thousand years. We're not gonna die all like, like in, in agony pain, agonizing pain, man. We're probably gonna die like how everybody wants to die. They want to die in their sleep. Just give up the ghost. That easy. That's why the Lord made it the way He said that we're put on the earth in these in these bodies, these chains, man. And that's the only way the spirit can feel pain is in these bodies. Now that's because we went off. So that's death by pain in itself. 
Not even Yahweh had an easy death. <laughs> and that was the Most High's son. He had to die a painful death too. So not one of you people are exempt. Like, but like we said earlier, y'all may have in your prior life died, maybe he died that way. He died in a peace, he died in your sleep, right? But hey, you're gonna come back. You, you still haven't escaped from living your whole life expecting that that particular spirit hasn't lived its full potential up to the time of Yahweh's return. So in all, throughout all that time, you're going to sin. And like we tell you, the more and more you sin, a little leaven left the whole leaven, a little leaven leaven at the whole lump, meaning that you're gonna get more corrupt and corrupt and corrupt. Like it says in uh, Timothy's, uh, men shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. All right, so you may die like that, but you're gonna come back in your next life, and you're gonna die a horrible death. You know, and the, and, the, and the focus on that part real quick. Like, like, was just, like the brother just commented, man, that was Yahweh, that was the most high, Yahweh's son, Yahweh Shai, whoever, it will anyone call Jesus Christ. That was his son, the, and, and he was the most, and that, that man was the most holy uh, creation ever, man ever. He was precious, according to the scriptures, the most, he was precious. The most precious thing ever created below the, the most high. And for the most high to put it, to allow his son to be put through that, and at that, Yahweh Shai didn't come down, and we already know he has spiritual powers, but he didn't come down and be like, uh, Father, when I die, I'm not gonna let it hurt me. He let dead play his course to let y'all know, no matter what you are, no matter who you are, when you're on this earth, you're gonna feel pain. And Yahweh Shai, he had to go through it. There was a documentary about it, where they were breaking it down, man, these Edomites were breaking down about how uh, painful it was for him, because they explained to you certain things weren't really what it just seemed. At the whole uh, plate of thorns. It wasn't no regular little thorns. It was like they they uh, they said it was like an inch long on each thorn, and that the pressure actually could have like pierced the skull. So for that pain, to well, it, it, it had to. Yeah, it had to uh, go through the flesh, and it was rubbing up against the skull. Yeah, had to. And, and for and for the, and for the Lord to go through that, and have to and have to take that cup, just to give it just to, just to prove that no man's exempt. Like. And, and, and if the Lord had to go through that pain, what makes you think that you're gonna go uh, out easy? When you when you've done nothing but atrocities throughout the earth, what makes you think you're gonna go unpunished? That's why the Most High, He's coming back because you are wicked, and the Most High has no need for that. Uh, this is Romans 12 and 1. <clears throat> Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Right, and like it said in the scriptures, that at the at, at the present time of death, there's no uh, uh there's there's no there's no I guess there's like no joy in death when it comes upon you. But we gotta we gotta go through it. If our Lord was sacrificed, then we gotta present our bodies a living sacrifice. And and what is that and that man where we're doing it right now is living our life like this, the way we're supposed to. Coming out in the highways and byways, rehearsing the righteous acts. Because you're on it. Brothers put it out there that you're already on a dead, uh, a death, not a death sentence. You're walking, you're on you're walking that green mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're dead man walking. Mm -hmm. You're walking to your your uh your execution. Right? Is that what you're trying to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, because basically you're 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 already walking that plank. Right. <laughs> Side has it set up, brothers may get touched. And like when it said that they shall kill him thinking that he do a cut the most side of service. Or it could just happen just you just plan out die. But it's not gonna be a good death. Or you just or the most high deals with you. You know, that's death. Uh this is first Peter's chapter 2, verse 20. For what glory is it if when you be buffet for your faults, you shall take it patiently. But if, when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. Right. For even here unto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who is our, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, 
that we, being dead from, to sins, should live unto righteousness, 